several of the um, endangered species or endemic species that we worked on has actually been communities who have taken us to those places and shown us those species or we would not have known and perhaps science would not have known about these if communities hadn't been willing to share their knowledge with us. So the communities also grow with the ecology of this landscape. Their languages get defined by the ecology of the place, of what they use, what they harvest from the forest. And uh, the Nilgiris has a numerous such uh, indigenous and um, endangered communities, I would say, because several of them are just less than 2,000 in number. For instance, uh, a honey hunting practice, you know, then there's so much about the bees, there's so much about the flavors of the honey, there's so much about which flowers would be used, there would be so much knowledge about what tools are to be used, what plants from the forest. So there's a whole body of language that develops from the use of that landscape. And that adds a lot of words and uh, a lexicon to a, a culture which uh, you wouldn't get if you removed it from the landscape. It's the knowledge, it's that whole experience, that lived experience on this landscape that contributes to a lot of protection.